Good evening, my fellow YouTubians. Well, this is for all the boys and girls in school in Sanger. I have neglected to put my voice behind the Sanger school system and ask very kindly if they would please install metal detectors so the kids coming into school would not have any metal devices that could cause harm to other kids. And it might even just stop maybe some guns from getting through. Now I know that Sanger doesn't have a big problem. And I know you're sitting there saying, why are you targeting us, Mark? Well, we had some girls come by. I'm in a nursing home. And we had some girls come by, and I was talking with them. They're in the nursing, into the nursing uh, program. And they spend a little time with us here. And I was hoping that I could maybe uh, do something for them. But I didn't realize it was going to cost a thousand two hundred dollars a piece for these things. Yeah, that that gets your blood going. You know, if you could see five hundred, that would be a good price. But a thousand two hundred and some change, not to mention the wiring. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, have I got myself in a pickle. But they made a big impression on me, and I asked them, "Would would metal detectors?" be a benefit and they said yes it would be and I said well okay I can I can make a blog about that and I'd be happy to do so and I am happy to do so They, they seem like nice kids. I guess they're seniors this year and getting ready to go out into the world. And maybe this will help them get a start to being a nurse. I mean, a CNA is nothing to sneeze at, but the nurses, naturally, there's a hierarchy and that that's going on with the nursing staff you know if you're a nurse you're above a cna and you act a certain way and well that's just how it goes <coughs> so these girls want to continue their schooling and get to be a nurse and maybe even go further than that. I don't know. I've got my flag right there. Yep, right there. There we go. There's my flag. 
<coughs> and you notice I'm leaning a little bit. I can't get back hardly. So lean as I do. I'm not going to fall out of bed. Now that's what everybody keeps saying. You're going to fall out of bed, Mark. Now no, I'm not. Now I don't know any of these girls names I don't know that they'd want them out there even if I did know them I've had a real hard time about making these blogs about these girls around here and getting them involved they want nothing to do. The CNAs that are already working here want nothing to do with this little uh, venture that I'm on. In fact, in fact, they just really have given me a hard time about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, old Uncle Mark's had a hard time about this stuff. But, I think as I've gone along, I've showed them that I'm not videotaping them to to try to do anything about their lives because they're where they want to be whether it's a CNA a nurse CNA stands for certified nursing assistant and that's what they do you know and so, uh, we have got a lot of, lot of, uh, oh, how should I say, ground to cover to get the CNAs up to where they ought to be with the nurses. Because the nurses still perform procedures that the CNAs could perform, in my opinion. And that's in my opinion alone. So let's, let's not get that confused. Now, you know what time it is. It's Mr. Let's see if I can get a decent signal on here. That would be nice. Uh, oh, success to FM. That's AM. That's short wave, but here we go. Now let's check on your local forecast for the Gainesville listening area. Tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Southeast winds 